I've been muted for 28 seconds. I'm not doing all the bits again. I'll do one of the bits again. I'll say the frigid pumpkins, like the one on my front step now that it's November the 3rd and uh, Halloween has been over for four days, so we should really get it out of there. I'd like to apologize for that, the, for the muting. Here's an unusual way to run your life here. How about one of these? And then I'll be straight up with you, brother. Just toss another one of those out there on top of it. Freeze a bacon. England is something. France is bacon. One of the one of the great jokes of all time. Allegedly. Seems like a great time to have a porcupine. I mean, our, our level up was decroted. Everything else was okay, though. I still think we just go like straight to this. I would even roll once. I was, I was just gonna say, I'm looking for units to have a little bit, a little bit more HP. So uh, just something that can survive a, uh, a hedgehog explosion. Now the silk moth obviously is not, uh, is not one of th those such animals, but we gotta play the shops we're given, okay? I'm, I'm gonna go off book. We're gonna run things a little bit differently here. You will survive, so you know what? I'm tossing you out here too. One day we're gonna do something with this bacon and that day is today. Now, I think we really have to say, that my, my classic mistake is almost always just over committing no, uh, to the hedgehog. Just cause it did some okay stuff for us for a while, that doesn't mean it's not the right time to get the heck out of here. We need to replace it with something useful. I would say like right off the bat, you can do this and we're looking for a replacement for you. I lost my whole identity though. <laughs> I used to have an identity. I was the guy who ran hedgehogs. Now I'm just out here, just out here running a, a nine, 12 otter and a bunch of animals that don't synergize with each other. Like I'm, I, I'm, I don't know who I'm supposed to be anymore. I'll accept a draw. I mean, we're the, well, you know what? I know who I am. I'm the guy who buys moose. You must be the other guy. I mean, should be like this, maybe. Yeah, I'm not changing anyone's stats, quite frankly. So we'll just wait for our next round. We have good level up potential. Tier fives can show up on level up. And then our whole dream is just to basically rework our entire squad, right? Get as many mooses as possible and as many good higher tier units. Useless. It's really not what I'm looking for. But in the immortal words of you as well, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. I guess I'm gonna, you're, you're both kind of useless to me. I'll take a Lynx, because at least it has the illusion of potentially being useful at some point. Come on. Come on, you're going to make me cry. Is that what you wanted? You wanted to make me cry? Wake up, honey. New worst round of all time just dropped. But that's okay, because we, we got... Our next shop is not as bad. This seems potentially not good for us. <laughs> I think we were going down there no matter what. But then, this is where things get interesting. Okay, I, you, we don't really have a faint friend, but you're gonna go. You're gonna come out here. You're gonna go. You're gonna come out here. I know it's, it's a weird way to play the game. I don't want a turkey, I don't want a hyena, I don't want any of this detritus, okay? You're given two stats. I don't really care. You might as well, I was going to say give them to the eel, but that's not how this works, brother. That's not how this works. Okay, another level coming up. That's a guaranteed tier six. They're figuring out what junk to give me. That's fine. A skunk is obviously good, but I'm mad. So I'm, I'm looking for an animal that doesn't exist. I'm waiting for them to give me a hydrogen bomb or something like that. Not likely. With two life left, we have an alpaca and a dream. A llama and a dream. My mistake. One of these... One of these, one of those. Not really sold on the others. Let me, let me think about this for a moment. You give permanent stats. We would like permanent stats on the eel still. 
Skunk, I'm not gonna lie to you, is still mighty tempting, but I think we need a little bit more firepower. Hang on, hang on. Don't hang on, the, the mole's gonna ruin my life. <laughs> I'm not messing around with any mole tech this week. <clears throat> Real voice. Um, I, I saw a chocolate cake involved in the mix there. I'm sorry to tell you that's not, that's not gonna be happening here. Um, a seal is interesting. I don't think it's quite good enough. I still don't think it's quite good enough. I'm sorry to inform you of this. I still don't think it's quite good enough. I'm gonna cry. I don't want that. I want something. It needs to change the game for us. Stop it. Get some help. Okay, I should have bought it earlier, but I, I honestly thought we would have a better unit. I thought we would have better optics, but so be it. There's no way we win this one, right? We do have two death touch coming out, but it's just like, it just doesn't seem too likely. I already lost one. <laughs> that one was a miss. I fell prey to every single bias that humans uh, can fall prey to. But now I got three mosquitoes and you're all gonna pay. How about an ironic jacket? Me wearing Canucks merchandise pre uh, the year 2023 and probably post. Freezer bacon. Just hoping for a mosquito, but it is what it is. We'll, we'll run one slightly larger mosquito because a mosquito seems like it can hang out for a little bit as long as you also uh, augment. That was a, a well-structured team there. As long as you augment it with a pineapple after it levels up. That's a tier three food. Tick me. Beluga sturgeon. I know. I said I wasn't going to run the beluga sturgeon, but I think it's... It, as long as you use it sparingly. You use it like the way that you're supposed to use pepper in a dish, not the way that you're supposed to use salt, okay? Salt. Some things can be too salty, but it's rare. Pepper, you can go overboard. I, I don't want to say pretty easily, but more easily than with salt. So we're just going to... We're going to simmer it. We're gonna slow build. Not overcommit to like a beluga sturgeon mole build that you need a PhD in nuclear engineering to understand. Instead, we're just gonna, just gonna relax. We're gonna enjoy ourselves. We're gonna accept our draw because we still have five HP. What is this? That's kind of nice though. Mole can stick around. And you know what, brother? We should be looking for pineapple. But I am very content to go with a buff mole. Not to mention their skunk hit my freaking manatee, dude. What the heck is this? Nuts collector? What are you, a squirrel? Or worse. We gotta take a level. Sorry about this one, brother. Two parrots. You, you changed my mind. I was originally going to double up on a lynx if we got a second one, but... You've changed my mind. Because the parrot could become like another... I don't know. <laughs> another deer, maybe? It would be nice. Hang on, they got no stats. I'm feeling like we're, we're cooking up some original recipe. I don't mean original recipe like it's an old recipe, which is the way that you'd normally use it. I mean original recipe like this recipe has never been used on Earth before. Oh, moose me. Okay, moose very important. We gotta dump something. I don't know what, and to, to an extent, I don't care. I think that the, the parrot is our long-term focus and our long-term future. You got nothing. You got nothing, kid. Okay. Let me think about this. We could get a level two lynx on it. I would say I'm a, a resident sleeper on that one. You're probably gone. We should copy you for now. Why? Freeze you. Yeah, that makes sense. Freeze you. Attack, I don't really care for. Health, I 
don't really care for. A moose should be good enough to figure it out for himself. And why don't you try to do double damage sometimes? And you have buffed a beluga sturgeon and a manatee. I'm not even sweating it because the manatee buff could keep the manatee alive to buff a little longer. I know we got cross buffination happening there. You're just gonna, I mean, this was a disaster. <laughs> That's what I get for thinking I was hot stuff just because I hadn't lost a life yet. We got, we got destroyed there. Turkey's not really my tempo. With parrot, I mean, I could see it, but it's not really my tempo. Seal works really well with this team. The problem is we need something for the parrot to do. Maybe it's not a problem. But this is like the, the moose covers... Let's go. <laughs> the moose covers health, especially if it levels up. And the, the seal should handle attack. The moose leveling seems way more important than the seal leveling, but this ox is going to ruin my life, isn't it? It's not even, it, it's not even going to be close. He didn't even need the ox for that one. They mold me. Okay. You're born in it, molded by it. Did not see the light until I was already a man. Go ahead. I think this is the right play. Whether or not it works out, I think it was right in in principle. The manatee lives another day. At some point, this parrot is going to be unstoppable. I don't know if the flea is, you know, where we want to take it long term, but is where he is right now. Eagle seems like the way. Are we willing to dump a manatee? Yeah. And then you go eagle with a Juan up. Freeze me, freeze me. We want to see food for our seal. Ideally, though, it would be chocolate for our moose or a moose for our moose. No such luck. Okay, we get some extra attack. I understand our seal's looking a little bit decroated right now, but that's it, it is what it is. We got quite an interesting sort of setup going on here. I believe in the cook ability. And you doubted it. You doubted the cookability. And look at that. We got to win six. The highest wins we've ever gotten to. Probably the highest amount you can get to. Go ahead and take this. It's not like a huge buff, but it's something. I think it's the right play. Because this, this eagle leveling, the eagle does better with a level than most units do when they get leveled. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. I explained it not in the most elegant way. That's a heck of a bus right there. <laughs> oh. But search your feelings, you know it to be true. Can I see a seal? Okay. How about some chocolate? A tick. It's a little late for that. None chocolate, none tier ones. Uh, all, everything here is very good. I hate to see a moose go. But uh, it, it is what it, it, you, there's no point in freezing anything. The moose unfreezes it. Call off the dogs, okay? I did what I could there given the shop that I had. I didn't know what the shop was going to look like at the end. Stop with the, with the deer, man. You're screwing up my old flow. They even summoned another one. I will say, I'm not... Holy cow, I won anyway. I was going to say this before when I thought I was destined to lose. Just for the record. I'm not even... I'm not even mad at mole technology. I have accepted that... It's simply, it's, it's more fruit than I'm willing to squeeze to get the juice. <laughs> if you're willing to squeeze that, the fruit to get the juice, then I say to you, I say congratulations. I say by all means, I say to the victor, go the spoils and go enjoy yourself. I'm operating on a different level here. A worse level, admittedly. And we're, we're still, just, still just cranking on it. We did what we could on that one. The moose... Has not leveled up, but we got, we got a shop that felt nice. This seems like it's a guaranteed loss. This seems like you have uh, the greatest squad that's ever existed on planet Earth. So I congratulate you guest on that one. Um, that's a tough one. Tier ones. Chocolate. Thank you so much. Didn't get as much use out of our seal 
as I thought we could. <laughs> now, what do we really want to see? None sniper left beef will go a long way. I don't think our squad's that bad, but a sniper just screws the whole thing up. Their, their squad is kind of like mine. I'm not going to say but better. It's mine but different. And its main difference is that it's a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> oh man it's only been 16 minutes huh okay good good I don't the silk moth in my opinion very feast or famine let me be a sulking amazing breaks me when my car stops at a red light thank you Miyazaki I didn't want to go to Kaled I think the Silk Moth is like, if it works for you, it wins you the rounds. I'm rolling. Thank you. I'm just gonna do it like that. Um, but if it doesn't work for you, then it is like a dead pet. Which I guess, I, I don't mean that to be like a wordplay. I mean like, it's dead in the sense that it, it doesn't do enough to justify having been on the squad in the first place. You could agree to disagree. This is a setup here. This is a good early game setup. Now we're gonna do something about you. I don't know what it's gonna be yet. We're gonna do something about you. Right now I don't mind. I, I'm confident we're gonna win or draw this round. I don't mind carrying a duck and a duckling. We can lean on the hatching chick to provide a buff and then the duck and the duckling give us a little supercharge when we find a unit we actually wanna keep. Which is none of these. Level potential, it has me, you got me thinking at least. Not, not as interested in a, a duckling leveling, but. This one we're gonna lose, I think. Maybe not, maybe, yeah, maybe definitely yes. <laughs> Should have gone with my gut on that one. Okay, forget a flea. Take your level. Sell into, it's like I want to buy manatee. And then I want to sell duckling into eel. I would like you to get, yeah, this makes, this makes the most sense to me. The eel needs the stats. I think we, we stop looking at your eel as like a big Andy in and of himself. I think we start looking at our eel as a future death touch receiver. And then I, I, I can conceptualize where I wanna be with this one. And I think this is fine. We are looking for a pineapple. I don't know, maybe I saw one. And the hatching chick is, is keeping you alive, temporarily at least. That's bad. Is it that bad? It's not that bad though. It's not that bad at all. Pineapple, just for a bit. Deer has also gone crazy this week. Everybody's running deer. Ergo, so will we. <laughs> this, is, I, I'm not qualified to understand why it's working like this. But this is the greatest manatee plus hatching chick combo of all time, right? Like, how is my manatee still alive? It's like it only loses the... Is it bugged? Is it only losing the health from the hatching chick buff every time? Or is that working as intended and, and I'm the fool? Either way, I'm not swapping off of anything. To <laughs> I didn't program the bug if it's bugged. Also, sometimes I'll be like, oh, that's bugged. And then people will be like, no, it's working as intended. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm glad I didn't sell to avoid the appearance of impropriety. Jeez, my self-esteem would have taken a real hit. Feels good to say we win these again. That feels good. You might as well, if you're immortal. Um... Now, hatching chick is what's keeping the manatee alive. We're probably at the point. You know what? I think that maybe 
bird of paradise could go kind of crazy here. We've spent five of seven gold. You can run chili pepper for a minute. Okay. Okay. It does kind of feel like we shouldn't level the hatching chick. Because it's been doing an amazing job of keeping our manatee alive with its temporary stats. Permanent stats are obviously permanent, but there's an associated cost. You got me. Which is that um, they're lower in magnitude. Most normal way to describe something ever. Or maybe it's time to cut and run from the manatee. Well, let's not go crazy. <laughs> oh, once. Free Shavaka is kind of... I think it's a good item with the Bird of Paradise. Now it's... Now that it's leveled, it's, it's not working right. So I think the manatee, we probably want to cut and run. Huge. You, to destroy the ox is huge. Me when I'm Paul Bunyan, telling people not to destroy my ox. I guess you could always, like, sell... We do want you to receive death touch, but I'm if you'll allow me the greed, I'm tempted to be quite greedy. Try to get a level two bird of paradise. Didn't happen, that's fine. Do we have, we don't have level two deer either? I mean, this is like a straight up scumbag team. There's no doubt about that. And it, it might not even be Quite good enough as a, as a scumbag team to get to 10, but we're going to try. <laughs> we are going to try. Is, I understand. It's tempting. You have some merit here. You have some merit here. You're not going to be necessary. You're not going to be necessary. Free Shavaka, do pancakes, deer. It's all useful. Let's start with, what are you at? Three of seven, so we're not quite going to get you there. Hard to argue with stats. Thirteen is an awkward amount of gold. Maybe the Avocado is not. We should have bought a grape. But then, like, the grape almost strikes me as, like, it's too long-term of an approach. I, I guess with three wins remaining and three lives remaining, we've got time to be patient. So, I don't know. In hindsight... In hindsight, there's some sensibility, but I, I think that we're going, we're going somewhere. <laughs> there's something to this one. Oh, the sniping, the great snipe, the and the skunking. I got to give you credit for that one. I mean, you're running two T-Rexes, I'm running two Birds of Paradise. Let's not act like either of us is uh, superior to the other. <laughs> We're all pieces of garbage here. Why don't you take that then? I think more pancakes, it could be worse. We're just trying to eke out a couple of extra stats to get us over the hump. Even more pancakes. Come on. Probably a one-up on your deer and then move it back a little bit might be more sensible. I feel like we pair well against a sniping team, or a, a spawning team. I said that before I... Well, never mind, we're okay. Certainly could have been worse. By me? What do we got? Nine wins? Come on. Come on. I don't even want you here. Take some of this. Please. I've been demoralized for like three weeks straight. This week has been the, like one of the best, but... Still, it, it stings, man. That hurts. This one's gonna sting, too. New Wave fans be like, wait up. Sting 2 just dropped. Don't want it, don't want it. What do we want? Two chocolates. It's not gonna be good enough. One up on the deer, move it back one. Is like, it's something at least. Nobody else really needs a one up. Very unfortunate assortment of foods that we got there. There's a chance, though. Sniping team? I think we, we have enough HP to not feel too... Oh, but the mole. What is going on with this mole, dude? It, it It's going infinite! 
Infinite mole? And yet we still got there. Okay, I honestly, I feel bad because we beat someone that cooked up something smarter than I did. But it doesn't really matter how smart you are when you got a 50-50 staring you in your face. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Hey, by the way, no, uh, no moose, no alpaca. I'll see you next time. Later.